Hello everyone and welcome back to the show. Today on your daily starter, let's talk about the one thing I think you should not be doing when problems come up. When problems pop, pop up, when challenges you know arise, I feel that there's a productive way to approach the situation and there are unproductive ways to approach the situation. So in this video I want to tell you about one thing you should not be doing anytime the problem pops up. Hello friend, this is the voice of Ademola Murebishe. Hello friend, it baffles me a lot when problems pop up, challenges come up and people decide to, you know, deny that there is a problem in the first place. I feel that's very, very unproductive, right? Like, there is a problem, there is something coming up, there is a challenge here and we decide to let, to ignore it, like, let us pretend it does not exist. I think that is counterproductive. I don't think we can make headways like that way. We need to get to that place whereby we understand that ignoring the problem does not solve the problem. Wishing the problem away will not <laughs> solve the problem, right? I believe that it be problem solving begins with acknowledging. We have to acknowledge that this is a problem. If we refuse to acknowledge that something is a problem, then we can't even solve the problem. You know, I think it is wishful thinking for you to claim something is not a problem. Then when it now becomes a severe problem, like it has piled up over time, now it is severe. Now <laughs> you can no longer ignore. Then you now sit back and say, okay, now this is a problem. And then you now start whining about the problem and crying about the problem. It is totally, totally uncalled for, right? The moment we sniff the problem, that this could be a problem, I believe we need to investigate and make a decision. Is this a problem or is this not a problem? When you say this is a problem, uh -huh. now don't think ignoring the problem will go away. I mean, think about it, my friend. How many times have you tried to ignore something thinking that's not a problem and it turns out to be a problem? How many times have you wished the problem away? Did it ever go away? <laughs> I mean, if something pops up, you have to address it head on. You need to understand something, right? You have to take responsibility for your problems. I mean, it's not fair for you to think somebody somewhere is coming to save you from your problems. I mean, even if you know you have a savior somewhere, you are still going to need to take a step or two, isn't it? Even if a doctor is going to solve your problem for you, you have to get up and go to where your doctor is so that the doctor can administer treatment and help to you, isn't it? So this idea that you're going to sit down tight somewhere, you know, and just push the problem away, you know, and just tell yourself, oh, I'm, I'm okay, I'm getting better, you know, and the problem is unaddressed, you know? I mean, you, you're, you're trying to execute a project and there's a challenge coming up. And rather than address it, you think you're just going to ignore it and make it go. It's not going to happen, all right? So the first step to problem solving is to acknowledge that this is a problem, acknowledge that this is a challenge, and then take responsibility for it. People don't take responsibility for their problem. They always start looking for who to blame it on. Once something goes wrong, they want to blame it on the government. They want to blame it on maybe their partners, blame it on their staff, blame it on their siblings. In fact, in modern times, you blame it on the network. You know, something happens, oh, just blame it on the network, you know. You just blame it away and all that and all that. We need to get to a point where we own up and we take responsibility for problems. Now, you might not have caused the problem, right? Maybe somebody else's, you know, slackness has led to this problem. But somehow, somehow, you are now being implicated, right? For better or worse, now, this problem has been created now and this problem is going to affect you as well. So it's wasting time pointing fingers or trying to push it all on the other party might just be a waste of time in the long run, right? At least within the boundaries of common sense, you should be able to see how you can tackle problems as long as it's going to affect you as well. We can't push problems away. We can't push it away. We can't ascribe it totally to the other partner. We have to understand that this problem is not going anywhere. <laughs> okay? And if we close our eyes now and say, no, I'm not seeing the problem. Understand that the problem is there and it's probably piling up. And so in the near future, it's going to become so serious that there will be no escape route. And that is not the kind of things you want. So I believe that we don't take responsibility enough for problems and that is a problem. Okay? At some point, you have to tell yourself, this is my responsibility. This is not the responsibility of my coach, my mentor, my guidance, my partner, right? This is my own problems and I have to be willing to solve my problems by myself. Once you get to that point, I believe life gets better because it will condition you now to quickly jump on things. A lot of times when we react 
past when things come up it's always easier to you know close it up right there and then but a lot of times we allow things to linger and after we linger drag our legs back and forth it brings us right back to the problem at that point it's no longer a small thing it's not a big deal and it proves to be more costly it cost us more, more time now cost us more energy and honestly all for nothing right so i believe that we should not don't wish problems away don't ignore problems rather tackle it head on and see how you can solve it in a short matter of time why don't you repeat after me this morning say God daily notes me benefit. I am bold and strong. Every day, in every way, I am getting better and better. My name is Ademola Marebisho. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Remember, you can live a formidable life. Have a great day. Bye.